Welcome to Masters of the Musiverse. My name is Scott Cummerow. First off, subscribe to the channel and podcast, follow Masters on, this, on social media, and share these videos. The mission of Masters of the Musiverse is to provide an assortment of resources for music educators. On the YouTube channel and podcast of the same name, I interview experts in the field of music education to discuss new trends, expose new composers in their works, and offer educators an opportunity to deepen their understanding of various topics. We are also working to connect educators with the resources they need for their classrooms. And this month, I have great interviews and giveaways centered around jazz education. April is Jazz Appreciation Month. It was created at the National Museum of American History in 2001 to recognize and celebrate the extraordinary heritage of, and history of jazz the entire month. Jazz Appreciation Month is intended to stimulate and encourage people of all ages to participate in jazz, to study the music, attend concerts, listen to jazz on the radio and recordings, read books about jazz and all the other things. This month, you will hear from some amazing jazz educators like Dean Sorensen from the University of Minnesota, who literally wrote the book or books on how to teach jazz. Jeffrey Agrell of um, the Iowa State University wrote a book on improvisation games. I have received some support from a couple of publishers. Um, so I'd like to talk to you about these giveaways. So uh, Chos Music has donated conductor scores for Dean Sorensen's uh, Jazz Ensemble Method and his first place for jazz. So we're giving those away this month. And uh, GIA donated three of Jeff Agrell's improvisation games, giving those away, plus coffee. I have so much coffee. This coffee is roasted right here in my hometown of Fergus Falls by our local roaster, Stumbinos. It's amazing coffee, and uh, it's got the French Press Friday logo on it. So we're giving some of that away as well. If you want to be entered into the drawing for any of these giveaways, simply subscribe and share these interviews on social media. Make sure you tag Masters of the Musiverse or myself. So to kick things off this month, I reached out to a wide range of professional jazz musicians and I asked them why they thought jazz education is important. I'm so thankful for the time that they took to give thoughtful responses, including the upcoming message from John Fedchuk. John's illustrious career in jazz has spanned over three decades. Since his emergence on the scene in 1980, he has established himself as a world-class trombone soloist, a heralded band leader, and a Grammy-nominated arranger. An in-demand performer and writer in New York City, his multifaceted talents have led him to become one of New York City's premier jazz artists. And he took time to share why jazz education is important in this concise, thoughtful message. Enjoy. The importance of jazz education transcends more than just simply learning how to play over chord changes. The history of the music really illustrates how the blending of ideas from a variety of cultural sources can create something truly special. And from the performance perspective, all the group concepts of interaction, communication, sharing, and inclusiveness along with a focus on personally organizing your thoughts, developing your ideas, and making clear, concise statements, all translate to so many aspects of everyday life and the ability to function in society. Uh, as a young student, all these concepts really helped me to develop just being a person. And I think every child should have that opportunity to study and learn from these invaluable lessons.